Yo, 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 what is going on, IK Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today we're back for another one. Gonna be going in a little bit of a different direction today. Um, I know we have the update that's coming out here in two days. We already did our full patch review notes, but I wanted to touch on something that I actually thought was very interesting that came out from the patch notes. And may just present a little bit of a different approach to when the update does get released here on the 23rd. And so before we get started, as always, if you enjoy the content, make sure you sub, like, ring the notification bell. And of course, if you want to be a part of our conversation, hit up the Discord link in the pinned comment description down below. So the thing I wanted to touch on today was going to be what I think could and, and I almost don't know if I want to say this in a shocking way. However, what I really feel <clears throat> could be a potential resurgence for Infinity Kingdom. Now, I'm going to put that with an asterisk. Because w with how IK, again, some of the areas that they are still developing and pushing, adding on to, are areas that are still kind of big elephants in the room right it's it's a sour taste for uh, you know a certain amount of people one and i think probably probably the two biggest things right now at least what seem to be is one with special artifacts and the fact that now you you need special unique artifacts to then upgrade special unique artifacts right and and the kind of price tag that comes with that it being higher uh, it just doesn't really seem as though there's a need or if you're going to do it right, as we talk about, make sure that you're giving the free to play uh, a way to get these. And remember, like with anything, right, it doesn't mean that you make it uh, where it is, you know, more or less the easiest to get, but you don't make it where it's the most expensive thing in the world. And there has to be a nice balance between having enough events and things to do in the game to where you can accumulate resources for these items, right? I, I don't think it's beyond the scope of imagination <clears throat> to be able to have at least one fully maxed out march as a free-to-play within a respectable amount of time, right? I would say something that makes sense to me is you being able to max out a march fully, like I'm talking one march, you know, let's say in like maybe six to nine months, right maybe six months even if you're playing straight you're grinding every event to me you should be able to max out at least one march remember you have four marches that you can look at but i'm talking like if you're just going in and you invest every resource everything um, everything that you get into one march i really feel as though you should be able to max that like however long it you know like however long it takes the average heavy spender to do that you know multiply that by however but to me something like six to nine months seems reasonable i mean that may even seem like a while but that to me i think you know and again i don't know how it works for other kingdom builders but that to me seems like a decent range i'd be curious to hear what some of your thoughts are right how long do you think if you're grinding daily how long do you think you should be playing for to at least fully max out one march? And I'm not saying something like shadow or holy, um, right? But any of the fine ma main elements, maybe with a little bit exclusion there for wind, uh, just because obviously it's still difficult to, to max out wind dragon. But, you know, for, for like an example would be fire. Right, because fire is the easiest right now for free to play. Fire is the only uh, march that you can get 100%, you know, late game uh, there as free to play. So, but let's just look at like the first four, or you could use fire as an example. Like, how long do you think it should take you to max out a fire march where you have, you know, max um, uh, artifacts, right? You got um, um, boost 20, you got max level, max gear levels, right? To me, six to nine months seems reasonable. And I just don't know if a free-to-play can do that currently. Right now, I think it's it's at least a year plus, right? And I'd be curious for some of you that are free-to-play out there. Let me know, how long ha has it taken you? Like, you haven't spent any money. You're pure free-to-play. How long has it been? Like, where have you been able to get one march? If you've invested every resource, you do Mysterium all the time, 
you participate in everything to where you can get right you you participate in the kvks you get the shards from there you get the rewards from those right where have you been able to take one march right how strong have you been able to get it because i'm curious to hear from some of you what has your experience been you know just in in, in trying to advance one march right um for depending on how long you played so I, i'm curious to know let me know how strong your one march is if you're free to play and uh, how long have you been playing for and then I think the next one here for me comes down to uh, KVK, right? So I think KVK, right? Some uh, don't get me wrong, right? One of the bug fixes I think in 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 two point two is is hopefully going to really help. However, I still think there's other areas that can be optimized. Um, and again, I know some people had mentioned a few things. I think there was actually a post here on the. Infinity Kingdom Discord in the KVK chat room. I'm gonna have to scroll up because someone wrote me a really good thing. It was it was Roth Emperor, right? Let me let me let me give some some kudos here, and I'm actually just gonna show this off because this was something that I haven't I I I, I did skim over, but I want to read it now uh, with the team here. So let's do this, <clears throat> right? So Roth told me this. Now I'm gonna read through it, and and we'll fully read through it. I should say, and then we'll we'll discuss a bit. So he says. You know, because I had asked before about, let me see here, what, uh, I think I had asked someone before. Oh, no, 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 sorry. He just commented because I think he had watched the video. So he said, building towers, a time reduced significantly with more troops inside the tower. Starts off at eight hours maximum to below one hour if there are 70 plus full marchers in, uh, marches inside. The more towers you have already built, the more time it takes. So, for example, having 80 towers built already means that any new tower placed will take at least 12 hours to complete dismantling destroying towers um, time is not affected with increasing amount uh, amount of troops time is not affected with dismantling oh interesting okay um he says this is one important thing 2.2 missed to destroy a normal tower it's eight hours fixed to destroy a tower boosted with alliance tactic 5,000 bonus tower hp is nine hours 23 minutes plus or minus okay um, de uh, demolition skill lasts only 30 minutes. It doubles the dismantling speed. It is then followed by one hour cooldown. If used once, a normal tower would only take seven and a half hours instead of eight hours. So, yeah, that doesn't really make any sense to me. I mean, to me, it almost seems like the skill should last, you know, it almost seems like the skill should last 12 hours or something, right? Like it should last long enough to where you could use it on multiple towers um, or even if you're using it maybe it lasts 24 hours then it has a 24 hour cooldown right but the fact that it only lasts 30 minutes that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me unless you're able unless within that 30 minutes you can dismantle at least one tower within 30 minutes that would be a little bit different um, right but typically when you're using a skill i mean you have to think about you have there's so many flags on the map so if you're going to use a skill and that skill is only going to take some time off of one tower. That doesn't really make sense, right? You're, you know, so so again, you would want it to last longer to where you could remove multiple towers um, at a faster pace while that's there. So something like 12 to 24 hours to me seems more reasonable. In addition, from what, again, pending this is all accurate, what he's saying is that it's eight hours to destroy a normal tower. That, that That's way too long to me, Um you know, I mean, even even in, geez, even in Rock, I don't think it takes that long to destroy a tower. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I do think that it should take a little bit more time to build a tower than it takes to destroy it, right? Because it's like they say, it's, it's you know, you can destroy something faster than you can build it. Like, I, I think if we're just kind of going off real life, logically, that is sound. So I do think you should be able to demolish a tower, a little bit faster. I don't want to say, I don't know if I want to say extremely faster, but I do think a little bit faster than you should be able to build. So for example, if it takes you, you know, an hour to build something with, you know, 50 plus marches in there, right? And you have the same amount of marches, then I think it should take maybe 45, maybe like 30 to 45 minutes, um, you know, maybe to demolish something around there, right? Even if it's 40, 45 minutes, um, you know, maybe max, I don't know, I mean, that that to me even seems like it's a little bit long, because the, the whole idea is that, you know, you want to push, like, you don't want it to be, you don't want it to take five minutes to dismantle a tower, but you don't want it to take five hours, right, to dismantle a tower, so you kind of have to find a nice, a nice middle ground, and I think if, if that's the case, and that's how long it takes to destroy a tower, 
and they're saying that uh, right that it's going to take up to this amount right once you have some towers built I mean that's just way too long uh, to me so I, I agree I think that needs to be lowered um, demolition skill here we go skill last 30 tower regen twice as fast to dismantle a tower at 1 HP will only take 4 hours to full HP that is bugged as well we also have some towers regen at 100% HP within 1 hour at times yeah I mean it's interesting I mean I, I think you should be able to put troops in a building once uh, troops in a tower and once it's stopped being attacked right then the amount of troops you have in there will regen it I think that makes sense All right because you're sending troops to build so you, I mean, that's the thing. You can sell me on that. Then we get to, let me see here. Then we get to, this is where it's a little bit annoying. It says Alliance skill for instant full HP regen on towers. Two to three charges over 24 hours if used at zero. Alliance skill for shields on all towers. Towers are shielded for 30 minutes. Regen HP during that time at a rate that's twice the normal dismantling rate. Interesting. You cannot place towers in the vicinity of the enemy towers being dismantled, but they can still spawn new ones. Uh, the, this limitation on X Niliho is a mere far sure. You cannot spam it anymore in shell alliances, but we can still move our members into those alliances during the first 14 days of KVK. Whilst protected and farm enough RSS for, say, 10 to 20 towers per shell alliance, bombard gates with those towers. Uh, and then Viola Annoyance level 9000 plus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, I, I think I'm, I'm making out pretty much uh, what, what he's putting down. I'd probably have to just see a visual um, aid for it. But, I mean, I, again, I think the logic is sound for, for this top half here that, that he's saying. And I do think that the time should be a lot lower. That just seems way too 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 large. I mean, too much time if so. And then, yeah, the, the skill stuff. Uh, again, I'd have to see that and maybe get into because uh, again, I might just not, I may not be making it out fully based on what I'm reading, um, but still, I mean, yeah, and, and that just kind of goes to the second thing, right? Like, I think fixing some of the bugs, uh, like I said, with one of the things that came out in 2.2, I think a few more things need to come out just to really make it a little bit more viable. And then one of the other things I want to touch on here is going to be with. Uh, probably my and this is like the next thing this is like my big third thing here is that i really feel if they just add in a few more quality of life updates to the game right along with these two things i've mentioned and i'm sure there's a few others right but these to me seem to be the bigger ones that are on more people's minds i really feel that ik could potentially make a little bit of a resurgence here However, it's really going to depend on how 2.3, 2.4 look like. I do think that they're making some steps in the right direction based on 2.2. However, with the unique artifact one, I think that, like I mentioned earlier, that's a big sour taste for a lot of players when you look at that. And it kind of goes back to that first question that I posed to everyone in the beginning of the video on you know what does your free to play march look like right now based on how long you've been playing for that'll be interesting to read through some of those comments and reactions but when it gets to my big third thing is that when i talk about quality of life i really i really you know mean more like what you're experiencing day to day in the game because that's really what every player is involved in right that is what you are seeing that's what you are living when you log in every day it's you're trying to be a part of a community and to me that is your kingdom that's your server and we should have quality of life things that really will showcase that more so an example and <clears throat> for anyone who's watched any of my previous videos on submitting feedback and suggestion rounds some of the things i've talked about <clears throat> are uh, doing things like, for example, having, you know, uh, longer King's Mails that you can send formatted. <clears throat> Being able to, for example, get a report that shows you how many uh, active and hyper players that you have, right? How many people have logged in within at least one time within the last week, right? How many silent and present status players you know, do you have by the time reset comes up, right? Same thing with active and hyper players. That's something that I think is great. That way, uh, kingdoms would know actually how much activity you have. 
Um, you know, these are just a couple things that I think can really help out when it comes to, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to how we engage in a kingdom. Um, you know, being able, and, and, and I know it might be wild to say this, but I actually think that they might need to consider, you know, starting to put, um, you know, some form of migration restrictions on, um, you know, kind of super kingdoms from being formed. Now, I don't know if that's something they're necessarily going to do, uh, because I guess it is still a little bit early. Uh, however, and, and, and I think, you know, if you're going to put a restriction, if you're going to put those types of restrictions, you have to have really good numbers. Like, you have to be able <clears throat> to actually get good player retention first and foremost. And so to me, what I often think, and, and like I said, even though I think that's an idea later down the road, I think what's better right now is focusing on balance for the game, getting it to a more sustainable state where people are, are kind of getting more excited and interested to play I IK again, right? Especially the one, especially, you know, again, we know, you know, quite a few players that I know have left. And, you know, even though they might be getting a good influx, a lot of what it comes down to is about keeping players, right? Not just kind of having a high turnover rate. Um, just because you're getting a lot of downloads, right? Um, I think the important part is to look at, you know, how many players are still playing the game, you know, month to month, um, especially when you look at new players. But I would imagine they should be able to track this type of data. But those are the types of things I think are a little bit more important. And though this doesn't cover everything that I could easily say in one video that I think the game needs to add to improve upon, I will say that I think some of the building blocks, or even better yet to say the rebuilding blocks in 2.2 are present, and I am excited at least to where I can say I'm now looking forward a little bit more towards 2.3 and how 2.4 shapes out. In addition, and this is the last thing I'm going to say here, I would love to see them do another developer community meeting. And just because it has been a while and it seems as though there might be some shifts based on notes and things like that that we're seeing now. And I'm going to ask and see, you know, maybe what may come of that. But that could be something I would like to see is maybe a second meeting and, you know, pull some people because now there's different people. Right. Some people have left. Some people are still here. Um, so if they did a second meeting, it would probably be a few different faces. Right. In the event I am fortunate or lucky enough to return for a second time, there would be some different people uh, possibly from uh, for individuals, individuals that were included in the first meeting. So, yeah, may, maybe we'll push for maybe we'll push for that <laughs> or, or maybe see if we can get any action going there. Uh, but that's it for me. I, I would love to know your thoughts on, again, do you agree? Do you disagree with the things I've mentioned? Want to give me a little more clarification, maybe on that bottom half portion there for the KVK notes there that Worthy mentioned. And then, you know, what do you think, in, in your opinion, are some of the big things that you would like to see or you think may help out? IK. And then lastly, do you do you even think that IK based on 2.2 and maybe based on what I've been saying has been maybe slowly starting to, to uh, try and retrend in that we're going to try and get back on track I, I, again, despite the unique artifact inclusion there, because that more or less is a slap in the face. But yeah, I, I'd love to know. I'd love to hear from you, the community, as always. Uh, that's it for me. So until next time, I'll catch you later.